Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. This is a candlestick, usually longer and, uh, and straighter so they can hold more candles and as they dip the candles for a household when they're making a lot of candles they hang them in a rack to dry and take out the next stick, dip those, put them back in the rack, take the next stick, dip those, put them back in the rack. When they get back to where they started then the wax is sat on the candle and they can dip it again and as you can see it gets, uh, gets bigger each time. I'm going to show you how I do it. Obviously the, the deeper the wax the longer the candle. Um, I didn't want long candles. I want them this size. Um, so that's the way I made them. Once you've got them made Simple matter to cut them off, fit it in the candle holder. 18th century candle holders like this one tended to be very big because uh, very often they'd be used for tallow candles. So you can use beeswax or tallow, or if you like, you can uh, you can even use. Um, paraffin wax works just the same but tallow candles um, melt faster and uh, you get a lot of uh, you get a lot of um, tallow in the in the actual candle holder so that's why they have a big dish modern ones they don't have very big dishes because they don't expect them to melt it very much <coughs> 